I... on our commodity server, we are about to witness history. It is 1969 all over again. <laughs> Press space to launch. God, Godspeed, young soldier. Godspeed. He's got to do like a NASA voice. Five, four, four, three, three, two, one. Uh, Easton, we have liftoff. Oh god, the lag! Oh, oh my god! Dude, I see that. T minus. Here we go! T minus, well, what's the time? Oh, I he's going in the door! Oh. I just need. Uh, the glass was in my Dude, way. Are you waving at me? Everybody's. Yeah, waving. everybody waves. Yeah! <laughs> Bye, weather! Oh, oh my you. gosh! Oh, look at this go. Houston, oh, we, have we, we have, have liftoff! We have liftoff! Oh, God's dude, that is soldier. epic. Godspeed. Hey, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video of Ark Modded. Back on the server, all alone today. Trees going fine, cows going fine. I'm not actually checked on the cows today. Let's go have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've not even collected my ender pills today. What am I doing? Look at all that stuff. Wow, wheat. Wow, to wheat. We'll get some in a minute. We'll just break all of this. So, I think I've been talking about it for a few episodes now. But, I want to move. How much have we got? Over a quarter full. Wow, okay. Let's go get some more wheat. Yeah, I want to move. So, um, we're going to go find another place today. But before we do that, we're going to need some wheat for first. Uh, that should do. Because we're going to keep this as our farming base, you know, for now. Everything will keep running here. But we want to move. So, I found a nice place over there. And uh, I think I've done a little bit of progress. And uh, I think you might like it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get some some of our stoofs and we're gonna head over there but first we need to get our resources over there and I don't want to just move everything over there I want to keep our stuff here so that's where this comes in quantum field singularity so we're gonna need TNT uh, should we make one of these? Let's see how these work, this is from applied and logistics now I'm not actually sure how you activate these whether it's by a lever or not but let's get a lever anyway. A lever lever. And let's go over here. We'll explode on this biome. Uh, because what this should do, if I am correct, is... Boop boop. Is it wrench? Lever? It is, okay. Bye bye. Yes. Quantum entangled singularity. That's right. Okay, that's what we needed. So, I've done a little bit of work off camera, as I said. Uh, that's mainly because all of this stuff is boring. <clears throat> I was watching my AE episode through and I didn't really find it interesting. I had an hour of footage. An hour just to set up a basic system. I mean, it's not exactly basic anymore. Uh, but, I also set this up going. And we have a lot of sugar cane now. But, you'll see why I did that in a minute. So, we're going to move our engines over there, but for now we're going to need power over there as well. So, I reckon now's, a, now's as good a time as I need to make Enderium. Rings. Boom. Hallelujah. It's working. It's alive. Uh, how much is it taking? Uh... MJ. 102. Oh, that's fine. We're, we're easily supplying that. Oh, God. Dog barking. So, just put that back in there. What we're going to need now. We're going to need... Oh, we're looking at... Oh, yeah. Enderium. That's right. Tesseract. Um... Tesseract. I need two of these. 
Perfect. Okay, we're going to need eight more ender pearls. Magma. Tesseract. Oh, that's easy. Wait, have we got... Yeah, we've got bronze. That's fine. We can easily do that. This seems like it's going to be a take a while. Everything's going to take a while. I can't wait until we get our auto crafter set up. We are going to do that at some point. I think I'm going to let another few quarries run first before I do that. I might get a miner as well. A uh, miner from Mechanism. Because they're pretty cool. I think they do a 32 block radius, which is uh, basically a 64 by 64, just like a quarry. But you can set what you want it to mine, which is pretty cool. So I might set one of them up in the nether to get nether ores, because they're a lot better. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to need more bronze. Hmm. I forgot what the exact ratio is. Oh no, okay. I remember when this was the team we were making and this, and we thought we had loads at 1,000. Oh, those were the days. We're going to just put it here. We'll set it to uh, own, 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 only. Uh, no, we don't really care about that. No items, no fluids. Energy. Send. And we will set this to... One main that's nice about main base. Wait. We're talking in computer language right now. Main underscore base. Oh yeah. And now we just have to set this at our other base. And it'll work. So bye. Yeah, we are going to need this. And uh Oops, we don't want to break the system. We're coming up on it now, guys. Oh, yeah. What's this majestic building? Oh, wait. That's it. That's why I needed the sugar cane, because we needed sugar for this block. Sugar and stone. It's huge, guys. Just saying. It's, it's simply massive. And we are going to build a city around this fountain right there. Uh, found out that these... Things don't actually prevent mobs from spawning, so that's interesting. Even though it doesn't say they can spawn, they still can. It's a giant room. We're probably going to split this into two floors, so that we've got, you know, two floors. But for now, we have our base. And this is going to be the center of Roville. Uh, this is, I guess, my grand reveal to everyone on the server because I think only jury and weather know my base yes Is it, wait what yes all oh, right Oh, but we got the power, we got the power, got the power, got the power. Oh, boys. Okay, let me give you a little bit of a tour now. Okay, so down here, these are going to be our walkways between the uh, little, I don't know how, what you call them, little rooms, like machines. Maybe machines, I don't know what they'll be down here. But it's like walking, so villagers can come here. It's going to have villagers here, obviously. Then you'll walk through here and it's going to be all good. And then you come up here and there's going to be glass here maybe. I'm not quite sure what we're going to put there yet. It might just be. could just be glass. I think that might be kind of cool. And then all the way up here. We have this. Which is nothing. It's just like a little maintenance hatch. 
but like in the center we have this which we might want to light up completely forgot about this room basically this is where we're going to have our ME auto crafter and if it isn't big enough well we might just dismantle this area and make it like an automation room and have it somewhere else but I think it'll be big enough for now and up here and there's a cloud coming through that's how you can tell it's high uh, we're still not finished up here this is basically my uh, little thing to find the center and uh, that's basically a room I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Oh, and up here is just the roof. So as you can see, it's it's very, very big. <gasps> no, no, and very, very destroyed. Luckily, this block is quite explosive resistant, apparently. Which is good. Because, as you can see, mobs spawn very well. There we go. <laughs> see how good this is, guys. There we go. So I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a tour. But we moved in, guys, basically. This is a new beginning for us. We've got it. And just to officiate it. Uh, Roville. Just Roville. That's going to annoy me. Let's get rid of the space. There we go. So I don't know whether this is going to stay here. It's flashing. That's annoying me as well. Ah! So as you can see, we're getting everything in here. We can just open it up. Everything will be here. And uh, it's pretty cool. So. Thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. To join the Rover Revolution today. And uh, tell me what you think of the building. I mean I know it's not the nicest looking thing ever. But you know I didn't I didn't really want to go for very stylish. I thought I was going to go for big and extravagant you know. So I thought this did it. And uh, the roof is a little bit off. I'm not going to lie I don't really like the roof. Because you have to go so far up to see it. But that... <laughs> It's such a tiny little peak for such a massive building, so I might might make it a bit of more of a peak. But this is not anything I had in mind when I was building. I was going to have like giant arms sticking out the side where pipes would go, and have a giant sphere on top. But we're going to have a particle accelerator running through here. That's probably what we're going to have. And uh, maybe through here, maybe this will be the where the top floor is. I don't know, and uh, I guess you guys can make that decision. So, I've said everything I wanted to before. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!